How's everyone doing today? My name is Little the Black Ash and I'm playing Virtual Villagers. New Believers. This is the fifth game of Virtual Villagers. I've played quite a few Virtual Villagers games in the past, but none of them I've recorded, so I'm gonna give this one a try to see if I can get through it um, as quickly as possible. Maybe just uh, see how I do on this try. Yep, restart. There was once a mysterious island called Isola, home to a tribe of lost refugees. Isola must be huge because each Virtual Villagers game takes place on a different part of Isola. One day a child made a discovery, something lost, and again found, on a forbidden path at the edge of the village. The elders gathered to examine the mask. They had never seen one like it before. They must determine if others are nearby. So they appoint a small group of villagers to search the forbidden path. This guy right here kind of looks like the human version of Shrek. With his button nose right here. Queek queek. Select five villagers. Ooh, this one's got a little blue in his hair. Okay, let's see. Uh, I guess I would choose one male 16 year old. A child. Uh, two 14 year olds and a pregnant person. Well, not pregnant, but already nursing person. Uh, let's go through with this. Okay, here's a, a 16 year old male. His name is Peep, which is kind of weird, but he likes the color blue. And let's take him in. Here's a 21 year old who's already nursing. We're gonna take her in just because she seems like she's young enough to. Uh, kind of give birth to our future villagers. Oh, here we have another 14 year old. He likes honey, so that, that, I don't think it's an advantage, but at least it's not a disadvantage. Oh, a six year old. This is, I think, the youngest that I can find in this uh, selection area. So, oh, he dislikes sitting, which means, I guess. It might be an advantage. Let's uh, take him in. Okay, here's our last 14 year old. Her name is Tagata. Tagata. So, the reason we get 14 year olds is because villagers start working as soon as they're 14. So, that's gonna be working real well with what we're gonna do here. And it doesn't even really matter if they don't have enough skill points for each one of these or any one of them. Because 14 is when they start earning their skills. And we're gonna start off the game. The path took them into the darkest parts of the jungle. Although they could see no one, they sensed they were being watched. An ambush. Your villagers have been captured and are now the prisoners of this faceless tribe. Well, we don't need any help because I've already played this game before. Well, we've been captured by the Faceless Tribe. Apparently these are non-believers, so they just hide themselves behind these masks to, I guess, keep away faith. But we're gonna help them regain their faith. And in turn, we're gonna take over this entire village. Alright, we're gonna need you to get this thing over here, sweetie. There we go. Now she's gonna be busy taking care of the baby because she can't do anything else while she has that baby in her arms. So we're gonna take this down. Hey. I'm gonna get this guy to get some dried grass so we can build a fire. This is gonna help our villagers to not get sick so quickly. Recovering relics adds to your max energy. This is this bar right here, which can unlock new exciting powers. These are the powers right here, so um, if this bar goes higher, 
uh, we're gonna get a new skill uh, each few um, skill points that we get. I mean, energy points. And we're gonna make sure that we don't lose any any time here, so... Oh, what? Oh, okay, I thought she was getting some wood from that area. But this place is actually kind of guarded, so I need someone to be a distraction. We're gonna choose the baby lady to be our distraction. Please follow the baby lady. And I have to keep her lifted up like this, because... She runs towards the camp area, which is the center of the village. That's where I don't want them to run towards. And there we go. That should be far enough. For this guy to get some wood. And return and actually get the fire going. Well, he's gonna get the fire going as soon as he brings those logs. I'm gonna drop him back on top of this area and he's gonna start building. I mean, making the fire. Well, it's good. She's making that granary out of the bamboo fence. And the little kid needs to pick up this little relic. Hmm. This is where our villagers are gonna start populating this area, so we need to get them to build this love shack. And we need this so that they can have more kids as soon as they reach the maximum amount of population without a single hut being built for them. Uh, okay, 103%. So we could get started on this first and then everything else can go on in any order. What are you thinking about? Okay. Whoa. That's weird. He was just there. I'm so confused right now. Ooh, another relic. Where's that child? Ah, a quicker way to find the child is to click this little arrow. There you are. Oh, you said no, but there you go. You know what to do anyway. Hmm. This might take a while, so I'm just gonna chillax and make sure that they keep building. Now during the first part of this video I was thinking that my recording software was gonna mess up this recording again but I stopped recording for a while just to check to see what my progress was and I checked to see if the video was in any way speeding up or slowing down in the middle of the recordings but it seemed like it started working again so I might actually get to post this after I edit it. There you go, you know what to do. Everyone here is working pretty hard, except for you're having a little trouble with that granary. Oh, okay, you are getting some skills. Your name is Toto. Peep. Ha what? Hokupa. I kind of like that name. Hokupa. It's kind of fun to say. Hokupa! Uru. Tagata. Toto. Yep. Oh! Oh, what's this? The mysterious footprints. One morning, the villagers noticed that strange footprints have appeared on the ground overnight. They later discovered that a wealth of honeycombs have appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Your villagers gain gained 300 food. That's pretty good. I don't have to worry about mushrooms that often now. And that's the reason why we need like a little kid with us is to pick up mushrooms for food because um, our villagers right now don't have access to this nani fruit and they can't really do anything with this farmland since the aqueduct is broken and they they're not really allowed to use that yet. Oh, I should have thought of this ahead of time. Let's see, you're still making granary. I'm gonna disturb your progress for a while to get this villager right here. This is like the easiest way to get a villager automatically. Is this purple masked person that's laying down? 
with this blue person standing on top of them. Uh, he's sick, so you're gonna have to drag your villager on top of him to try and uh, cure his illness. If he would stop studying medicine. And it will fail from time to time, but uh, if you keep doing this, it'll eventually get him. There you go. You converted a heathen. Anytime you make new believers through conversation or new babies, you increase your max energy, which can eventually unlock new powers. This little bar, see that little gray area it increased, so that's how far... Uh, oh, we got a new skill thingy. Sunshine. I'm not sure what that does. Sick heathen. Your villagers have cured a sick heathen who has now joined the believers. This is good. We have an adept doctor that can help us with our progress. This is going to speed up uh, taking this fence down. And you can get this little piece of necklace that he dropped as soon as he took off the mask. So we have to go to each one of these areas to talk or to convince these purple guys. <laughs> purple guys. Oh, dang it, that game. Uh, to convince these purple masked people to join the believers, we have to like solve their riddles or make them feel better, like by fixing whatever's broken, and they'll eventually join us, and and we'll get like these pieces of a necklace that that each one of them have. So I'm not quite sure what these skill points are for, I mean, uh, why do I keep saying skill points? These powers, these god powers, they're for something specific, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, maybe it's in here. Okay, no, it just uh, tells me about god powers, but not what each one of them is for. Uh, maybe puzzles? Oh no, that's with the heathen that we cured. Trophies? Oh, nope, not that one either. Collections? Mm, see, we need uh, a few more necklace pieces and some relics and scientific artifacts that we find. Well, scientific uh, equipment that just start popping up all, all over the ground in the village area. Maybe it's a... T yeah, here it is. Um, spawn butterflies. Spawn a cluster of lovely distracting butterflies. Oh, this is for children's. Uh, I think uh, there are some rascals that kind of interrupt your player's progress if they get too close to them because the yellow masked people they are aggressive towards your villagers. If you go near them, whatever your villager was doing at the time, they lose that progress. It's like you get distracted. So the butterflies will probably distract those uh, yellow masked kids that run everywhere just because there are people working. They want to see those people work. There are some strange little flowers somewhere. They want to go see those pretty flowers, stuff like that. We have the bees, swarm of bees, spawn a bunch of bees of a bunch of stinging bees. I know what that one's for. That's going to help us with the nani fruit when we run low on nani fruit, once we get access. Make it sunny. Uh, I guess to take away the rain, when it's raining, you got to make it sunny. Okay, so they have 16% finished right here. Let me make sure the game speed is at its quickest. Yeah, it is. And... Here we have the red mask, uh, village, uh, heathens, they guard certain parts of the, the area, they're, they're just like there to scare villagers from going close to there. These run around, sometimes they guard places if they're adults, and if a villager goes near one of them, they'll be chased all the way to the center of the map. Sometimes the villager is quicker than the the heathen, so that's what's likely to happen is 
you're gonna lose that your villagers gonna get distracted so try to lure these away before you go somewhere far from the center and these blue ones can be talked to and you can try to convince them to convert to actually having faith and stuff like that but it, it's like little by little you can only talk to them once every hour I think so after an hour from the first time you spoke to them you can talk to them again and it increases their faith little by little this granary is pretty much almost finished not really sorry uh, this fence as soon as the fence is at a hundred percent dismantled the granary is gonna be finished Oh, here we have some more relics. Ah, oh, where's that kid? There you are. Oh no, there's a rascal. Oh my gosh. I know, I know. But this is gonna help. I just wanted that little rascal to get away from there so I could go past and safely put that relic in here because once they get interrupted by one of those rascals he's gonna drop that relic and it's gonna be lost until the next time it pops up on the map we can also try and take down some totem poles that'll help us with our progress too uh oh did he drop it oh no he got it in that's good I need you to pick up this relic Oh no, no no no, no no. Oh, he didn't get a chance to pick it up. Okay. That's okay. Follow me. There you go. Alright, you're done. Unsure what to do. I'm pretty sure I know what you should do, and that's take down this fence. Here I'm making this villager talk to these heathens so that they can be on the way to being converted to being a believer. But I could just drag them and drop them on a villager and then just pick them up automatically because that's that's gonna still count if I let don't let them finish with their talking. I know, I know. I didn't mean to land it on that guy. That's actually kind of handy. With these guys that are blocking this area right here, all I have to do is try to talk to them twice in one hour so that they run away and don't progress in covering up that area. And here I'm gonna talk to these guys. Come on. There you go. And uh, we're gonna get as many blue guys before uh, any yellow or red masks go near them. Oh, there's one too close to that red mask. And he's coming back, but I'm gonna shoo him away by landing on him. Yep, okay. Oh, that's some nice progress right there. 60% dismantled. Now there's something really special about this love shack right here. With this love shack, and because I have four people that can easily work out this building and fully build it, all they need is minimum maybe minimum two trips for four people to go over here to this wood pile and then come back and build this thing so that's gonna be pretty quick I don't have to distract those yellow masked heathens very long but that's only if they successfully get that log of wood to build this area because sometimes they just do that little thing that they do right here in the fenced area while they're taking down this bamboo they're like uh-uh that means they weren't successful in whatever they were doing so let's hope they don't do that as much while building that love shack 
these guys are coming back, so we might want to interrupt them. As soon as they get out of the water, because I can't really get to them in there. There you go. Oh, sorry. You can leave now. And you too. Ooh, a relic. Uh, that kid. Where's the kid? Where's the kid? Uh oh. New villagers. Oh, okay. This is a little... Oh, he was right there the whole time, wasn't he? Take that. Uncommon relic. Okay, no yellow masks on the way. Really good. 80%. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm not quite sure if I should, but this 300 food... Uh, I guess my villagers could survive without taking down this totem pole. I don't think I plan to play the whole game, because the whole game takes days to play. Oh, here we're almost done. 93%. Let's hope these guys can actually complete it. Maybe just a few seconds more? Kinda wish I could get more runners in this village. Just um, uh, cause, uh, there are some villagers that have a like to run. Ooh, this one dislikes quiet and likes medicine. That's pretty fitting for a doctor. Uh, dislikes sitting, likes honey, likes blue. If only I had someone that liked to run, that would increase progress really well. I think there's a little bell sound coming from the game. That kind of means that there's something on the ground that uh, our little kid can pick up, but I guess sometimes it doesn't really mean that- Ooh! Your villagers have torn down the flimsy bamboo fence and built a food bin from it. Now they have a place to store food. Alright, now we could get to something else, like- Oh dear, I forgot about them. Dang it. Come on. Make them go away. There you go. One more. Get out of the way. There. Now you could probably take down that area, but I kind of want to take down one of these totem poles. Hmm. I guess we could take down a totem pole. We could probably get this food one just in case something happens to our food. We're gonna build this first hey. since I probably lured not all of the yellow mask huh? people away. Okay, now I have to monitor them and make sure that they get stuff built. And I'm gonna use the little kid to lure these guys away. This guy is kind of too close to my other villagers. And then these guys are coming back. Uh oh, that's not good, not good, not good, not good. Ah, dang it, I was too late. Yeah, he's still on the move to build it, so I guess that's okay. You? are gonna piss me off, little rascal. There you go. Oh, you weren't successful? Oh, someone was. 20% with one log. I can feel my, my throat sort of close up each time I try to say masked. Masked. I can't even say it right. It feels like I can't say it right. But it's probably because I'm, like, playing this game lying down, which is my most comfortable way to play games, seriously. I wouldn't like to sit down the whole time I'm playing this game. Ah, another one that wasn't successful. There we go, 40%. Sixty percent. Ooh, a relic. Ooh, this is one of those rare ones. 
Wee! Let's go make these guys run away. I like that little apple biting sound that those guys are having whenever they eat some of that nani fruit. They eat a lot. now have a private romantic place in which they can retreat and it's got a jacuzzi and this rascal's gonna come and scold everyone okay never mind I guess I could take down the totem now pretty much you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the love shack with uh, yeah like that over here Ah. Oh, I can see the chief down in the corner. Oh, what's this? The aphids in the nani bush. Small juice-sucking bugs are literally sucking the life out of the crops. Something must be done. But this must be hand uh, handled wi uh, handled wisely because they could become a chronic problem. Research bugs and eat aphids. Research points that kill aphids. What? Oh, potions. Research potions. Uh, uh, I don't know, because the bugs might actually also eat the nani and then the Potions will probably burn the nani. I think bugs because I Don't know after some study the villagers figure out that there are small creatures that live in certain types of soil That will eat aphid eggs before they hatch This process is not immediate, but it's effective long-lasting aphids. Oh wait. Oh at toe apod whatever aphid I'm gonna call her aphid. Gains farming ex expertise. Your villager gains tech points. Your village gains tech points. Yay! A thousand tech points! That was lucky. I really need to work on my reading skills! Or not skills! So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and take down that totem. Somehow. Just follow me. I'm gonna try to pronounce her name correctly. Apatoa. Apatoa. Maybe. That's her name. I'm still gonna call her Aphid. You know what? I could definitely rename her. But maybe not now, because I'm kind of busy trying to get these yellow masked people away. I gotta maybe be quick about it because there's another totem I could probably take down, but the red mask from the the science lab will automatically go to that totem pole to protect it when he sees- yeah, there he goes. He's gonna go to it because he sees that we're gonna destroy that food totem pole. Maybe I could put bees on him. Uh, that's not working. He's gonna still try and stay close by. Uh oh. Well, these guys are almost good and done. Uh, if only you could get there. Okay, that guy passed by. I was kind of worried there. There you go. The hungry totem. 
Your villagers have torn down an enemy totem. Now they can add Nani fruit to their diet. And after this, that uh, red mask is going to leave and go to another totem. Some totems will require special powers to help your villagers remove them. If you're stuck, work on increasing population and collect relics. So right now, what we can actually do is go to the mausoleum right here and try and unclog it. Speaking of clogging, you know that sport or that dancing that people do? It's like tap dancing, but they call it clogging? Yeah. There was once a joke that me and my sister did where there's a... <laughs> there's a child in a clogging class named Artery, because apparently there are some kids named Artery. And then during a presentation or a school program where the child's uh, clogging on stage, the parent goes, oh my gosh, my artery is clogging, like in happiness, but someone could like misunderstand or something. But I don't know, that was like an inside joke for me and one of my sisters, but I would most definitely not name my child Artery. Okay, now that we have gone back down to 100% of blockage remaining, it was like 126% when I got here. Um, now, I guess I could cut off the video now and we'll see how far we get in the next video. I'm gonna pause it right before I log off of this, or not log off, but exit out because I could accidentally forget that I actually have villagers still here because this game keeps working even after you uh, exit out of it and stuff. So I wouldn't want them to accidentally die off because I wasn't supervising their actions. So I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Laters!